Hey all, Binks here, and today we're balling on a budget. Today's deck is Ongoing Destroyer. The goal of the deck is to ramp up with our ongoing cards and finish off with either Spectrum to give all of them plus two power or dropping a Destroyer down for a huge burst of stats either on top of our Cosmo to stop the huge uh, on-reveal effect that it does or with our other cards protected by either Armor or Professor X. Uh, now, the coolest thing about this deck is that it has a single Pool 3 card. Destroyer is the only Pool 3 card that you're going to need. Uh, if you don't have Destroyer and you're more in Pool 2, you can just add another ongoing card and kind of go full on the Spectrum side. But once you unlock Destroyer, it really gives these two different ways you can finish out the game. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward deck, but if you work and you kind of learn this deck, you can absolutely climb and get to infinite with it. Uh, I brought it out for about three hours after not playing it for months and months and just absolutely cruise to the ladder people aren't really expecting it right now uh, we have the new inclusion of sandman the four energy one power card with ongoing players can only play one card a turn which just really slows down the game there's a lot of surfer decks out there a lot of zabu decks that are looking to kind of burst from hand at the very end if we are somewhat ahead on turn four and we feel like our opponent is holding back cards slamming down that sandman can be just absolutely soul crushing to them uh, overall, I think that this is one of the coolest decks that, that you can play. Some people think it's a little bit too straightforward, but I think that there's so much decision making with where to place your Cosmo, which lane to start to fill, how you're interacting with your Ant-Man, uh, how are you going to situation your Claw to, to take the most advantage of it. Uh, I really think that this, this deck has a, a depth of decision making, and it's a great deck to, to really start to learn the game of Marvel Snap, I would say. So if you're getting towards the end of Pool 2, and you have a target on destroyer i think that this deck is incredible with the featured location right now it's even better so i really hope you give it a try as always if you're enjoying this content make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to check down below make sure you subscribe for daily marvel snap content and you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash pinks underscore place enjoy okay no one and two drops is sad maybe we gotta go harder in one and two drops maybe gonna drop one of these three drops let's get another two drop because skipping turn one and turn two feels terrible Probably cut cap. I'm gonna cut cap. Right immediately after this game. I told you I don't like Captain America. Never freaking like Captain America. All my homies hate Captain America. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is a Sandman game. It's still gonna be hard to win though. Will not be easy to win. I think I'm gonna have to YOLO. I think I'm gonna have to YOLO um YOLO Professor X middle. I think I have to do this. Do I win this game any other way? I skipped turn one and two, which is horrible. I don't think I don't think there's any other way I win other than a Professor X destroyer cheese. I don't think so. Professor X right? You guys are shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You gotta hope they play right. Oh they snap. Oh, I don't like the snap. It's like a 50-50 if they play right or middle. Yo, actually cracked. <laughs> uh, GG's. GG's. No cube donating. No cube donating, Speed Demon. No cube donating. Just plant the Ant Man left. It's fine. Bast on one, huh? Bast on one is pretty good. Thank you, Javier. That's a very nice thing for you to say. Let's go armor. Well, armor up the middle. We might be trying to Professor X here on five. Seems, seems something that. 
It's gonna be hard to beat. But we'll, we'll armor middle. If we can get a good four drop, we can go like three, four, five, six. I think we can power out this this left side. We need a good four drop though. Like salmon works pretty well, especially if this is a negative deck. Like if, if negative comes down here pretty soon. Yeah, this is definitely a negative deck. So any four drop off the rip, I'm snapping. Honestly, Lizard's not too bad. Lizard's not too bad. Straight up, just go Lizard, Professor X. You could just slam a destroyer middle. I guess uh, they're gonna have Iron Man stuff, right? So the big problem with Iron Man stuff is that it's gonna multiply everything. Uh, so I don't think we snap, but I, I definitely think we go through with this plan. Trevor Aid and Valir deck, so true. Uh, what is she going to take? Man, it would have been really nice if you took the lizard. I think this works so often. Does Sauron remove the lectures on reveal? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it says remove the ongoing effects, but it might be... Might be silence it. Might be silencing it. Yeah, I think that this deck works better if you just go all in on the ongoing stuff. Because if you don't go all in on the ongoing stuff... TBH... It, uh... It makes it pretty tough. I think we snap here. I think we can win... I think we can win right. I think we have, like, Claw Destroyer, right? Claw mid destroyer, right? That just feels correct. Destroyer getting the the getting rid of this is also very nice. So they have some work to do still middle, right? Like it's not like a foregone conclusion they can just win this. I am Iron Man. They they have to put. Either their other doubler, so they either have to put their other doubler left or middle, uh, and then they could win. They could win middle easily with their other doubler, or they have to invest seven power. They either have to get seven power or their other doubler left, and if they put their other doubler middle, I don't think they can beat me, right? I don't think so at all. Yeah, Mystique mid. That's what I mean, the other doubler. That's what I mean by Iron Man, sorry. <laughs> uh, Mystiquing their Iron Man. They could go middle. But then if they do that, how are they going to add... This is going to be 21. They have to add... 6 power, right? Pretty strong. Mystique and Wolfsbane? Mystique and Wolfsbane does it. They have, to, they have to account for Spectrum too, though. Is the biggest thing. Because they know I can just I can just Spectrum, right? I guess Spectrum, they're gonna lose three here. Dude, if the rogue had gotten this uh lizard, we were actually in an even better spot. Forward one. Are people saying too much what? What did I say? Can I can I Alex? Uh, we can armor Danger Room. Skillion's a little annoying. It lost us two draws, I think. <laughs> Professor X and Bar Sinister always broke the game. Oh, really? I actually didn't know that. Using. Five and two using yellow jacket to knock three powers into C2 buff was my angle. Weird. So you, you throw a couple of threes in there to try and yellow jacket them. Yeah, that is that is tough to make work, my dude. Most certainly. I can do some electro cheese.
Do some electro cheese, but when it does, but when it does, so true. Should have clawed bar sinister so I can get 24 power in the uh, the location that doesn't exist to the right of the board. Six percent of the time works every time. So true. So so true. Thor, huh? So if we Professor X and then Spectrum this, we will go up by just enough to beat a single Thor. Uh, it won't beat Surfer if there's Surfer deck, but we just gotta hope they don't play middle here. Love to see it. And we slam the destroyer right. Ooh, maybe we slam the destroyer left. Mm hmm hmm. So I'm a bit scared that this deck would run Sean. This seems like a good cards deck. Good cards deck often often have a little little Sean action in their deck. So if we go destroyer, we're kind of fighting here, and then we could try and spectrum over here and win. But if we destroy her here and then they shot us, then we're just kind of screwed. Sunspot can also just beat out this destroyer, which is a little scary. Try right. Try right. Beach, huh? Pretty, pretty devastating card there. Claw off the top. Okay. Well, they can't win middle without playing Mjolnir. Yeah, they can't play middle without playing Mjolnir. So if I can call it where this Mjolnir lands, so we call it in the industry of 50-50. It could also still have Sean. Could still have Sean, which just, which just beats us. Unless they play Sean and Mjolnir on the same location. Unless they play Sean and Mjolnir on the same location. We're gonna go here. We'd have to do both. Oh yeah, we have Electra. <laughs> Think they'll play it in the leech lane? The really only thing that you can do to improve this deck, you can do a bunch with the shell. You can go in like a Wong direction where it's like a Wong Spectrum deck with a bunch of ongoing cards. Um, you can go deeper in the Destroyer side and kind of cut some of the ongoing cards for things like Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, stuff like that. Uh, you can just add Mojo in for Colossus, makes the deck a decent bit better. Uh, sometimes when I do like the Wong version, I add Quinjet in the deck just because it's another one drop that's that's ongoing. Uh, there's lots, lots of stuff you can do kind of want to Cosmo middle and then not Cosmo on this Ant-Man lane because if I'm playing Destroyer on the Cosmo, I kind of want the options. It's snapped. Do what they do. Full location disruption? I mean, I don't know. That doesn't seem fun, right? Like just playing Storm and Scarlet Witch and Cosmo. I, just, I personally wouldn't find that very fun. Let's see. Actually, I don't mind the same in. Same in to Professor X. Yo, all right, watch this. Watch this, watch this, okay. They are going to play a big thing left so that it can't get sniped but then they can't taskmaster because of the two cosmos so i'm gonna professor x and hold this off there's no way they play this right there's no way they play this right and then they can't taskmaster they can't arnim zola it and then we can win with uh Then we just went with the shore. Unless they have something that's over 12 power. But I think the Shuri is kind of their last thing. They can't Taskmaster. The biggest thing is knowing that they can't Taskmaster. 
So they probably had it in their head, oh, I just I just want to Taskmaster. But shutting down this non-Cosmo lane means that they can't follow this up. They can't Arnament. They can't Taskmaster it. They're, they're done. They're done, dude. Yo, this deck is working really well. This deck's working really, really well. No, no, you, they would never play into either of these because they wanted to Taskmaster here. So they can't play their initial big card here because they know they want to Taskmaster here. So shutting this lane down just stop, just stops everything they want to do. Oh, no, yeah, Giganto is the only thing that beats us, but running Giganto in a Shuri deck is <laughs> ridiculous. Just the absolutely most ridiculous thing you could do. Victory. Thanks, Brains and Chat. Let's go on. Thank you, thank you. Ocean Mud make... <laughs> Ocean Mud made a voice clip of, of me to use on the stream. It's like, that's a weird question you shouldn't ask me random for your fun like. That's awesome, dude. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, uh, next time I see him stream, I'll go in and ask him to play it. I, I remember saying that too. I can't remember what someone asked me, but it was really funny. Uh, I'm from uh, from the U.S. Uh, Midwest, Chicago, specifically. Okay, opponent's a negative surfer deck. That's pretty cool. They probably want their own cards though. They probably don't want my cards. Be my guess. Try to remember the C the basics of CQC. What is I don't know. I have no idea what that means. Close quarters combat. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Card of gold foil split definitely bought. That's not necessarily true, but. Sometimes true. Chicago's beautiful city? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Love many of y'all. Thank you so much. You certainly can ask me a question. Uh, yeah, no way to subscribe. Yeah. Uh, exclamation. Yeah, someone, someone already posted it, but exclamation point to subscribe. I, I dual stream on. Um, I dual stream on YouTube, so there are 700 people watching on. Uh, Twitch, but there's a thousand people watching on YouTube as well. So it's a 1700 strong. It's also the reason why you get uh, all the Restream chat things that uh, that show up Hmm This feels a little too all-in I don't know where, what else to do. I kind of set myself up a little bit weird. I guess I can. Uh, I don't have anything on me, right? So I can. I can do this. Pretty good. Yo, oh, we're winning this. Wait, these both give six. Let's give six. Let's give six. So since both of these give six, I want the one with the most power, which is Spectrum. And they can't Cosmo me. So they have to play three cards here. They have to play three cards here and they can't play right. No, wait, that uh, they. I think I always win then, right? Sometimes I lose. That was weird. I think they messed up with the Warpath. Oh, no, no, no. They were going to get to 15, so they lost the Warpath buff to get it to 15. Very nice. GG's. Okay. Get our Lizard, lizard action going. We can get Lizard left, Mr. Fantastic middle, and they don't really... This Goose is annoying, but we can just kind of ignore it. We get this middle and they don't go super far ahead. Brood, yeah, Brood's so scary, dude. 
Can't believe they didn't brood cloning vats, man. Might be still our only way to win. Might still be our only way to win. If it's a Rebro too, the Salmon's actually really good. It's Surfer, we can draw Cosmo next turn, right? Killmonger and Cerebro makes it cease three. No, 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 no. Uh, Killmonger would go to four. Killmonger would ping the Nova and go to four. I think they hate the Sandman. I think they're pissed. They did. Cosmo? This is better than Surfer, right? What one card could they play to win? There's no one card they can play to win, right? No shot. Jeez. Victory. Like, I don't even know if I would change the mojo for the Colossus. I've been keeping track of the games, and there's almost been no times where the mojo is more power than the Colossus. And the Colossus is pretty good with the Destroyer. So I, I don't even know... I don't even know if there is, like, a good upgrade for this. I think it's just really good. I think it's just, like, a really good competitive deck already. What are, are people fighting? Why are people fighting? <laughs> Aren't you wasting a turn by playing Sandman? Uh, sometimes. But as you can see in that game, it also completely shut down their game plan. We skip a turn, then we play like Claw Destroyer. That's usually gonna like crush what they're trying to do. A lot of decks nowadays shut down. What's going on here? A lot of decks nowadays, um, they try and puke out cards at the very end of the game, right? Through the Warpath on uh, the Onslaught Citadel is gonna go gonna go buck wild. Let's see, unless we get murdered by this, we're gonna snap, which is really good for them. Moon Knight, uh, I got this so We're fine. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to stay in here. There's not many card spaces left. I think that getting the Warpath out is too good. I'm a little scared of Sean, and I use both my Cosmo and my Armor Middle. But uh, we can just... I don't know. We, we can figure it out. Let's claw the play. Oh, it's got to be the play, right? Oh, it's got to be the play. Then maybe next turn we even like draw like a two or a three drop and we play like Ant Man Colossus something. All right. It's tough though. It's tough though. We might even be um, we might even be trying to. Uh, we could have also saved the spot for Mr. Fantastic, huh? The spot for Mr. Fantastic getting something in Sanctum would be really nice. We just Sean, right? Error, right? Okay, that's not that bad. In all honesty. Spectrum. Five cards in hand. If they can't get left, it's all gonna be total power. So just slamming 15 extra power. So their biggest thing that they can do is they can make a huge swing with Sean, right? If they do a huge swing with Sean. They're gonna get a plus 16 power swing. I don't know if we ever can beat that. We're up three, one. We have to Sean and do some, maybe play two cards. 
How much is my spectrum? My spectrum is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13 power. I, the biggest thing that I think they beat me with is Sean, though. Inspection gives us less power against Sean. What do you guys think? Leader? Leader. Leader's good. I don't think Leader beats us, though. No, Leader doesn't beat us. Let me just destroy If they just on, we win. Yeah, we're just going for total power there. All about the total power, chat. It's very close, but if they can only Sean there, we win. We can just fight for one location really, really hard and slam a destroyer in Space Throne. It's usually a pretty good way. I am farming cubes with this deck. That is, you're not wrong. I'm doing this going very, very well. Oh, opponent pre-armored uh, left for me too. It's really nice. I was going to say I need to get an armor or, or Professor X, but now I don't. I think we just keep pounding, pounding biggest cards possible left. As long as we can uh, uh, eventually win this, then, then we're, we're, we're going to be totally fine. Huge. Definitely snapping. Green Goblin, totally fine, actually. I think the warpath is just big enough it doesn't matter now the problem is going to lie if they have a destroyer of their own uh the problem also lies that i kind of have to play something to break warpath here but this is worth it uh but i can't play it <laughs> it's pass just correct i think they're a destroyer deck too right I think they're a destroyer deck as well. So we have to boost something where we can fight against this warpath and they can't just play like just the destroyer and win. So we have to fight this warpath. Yeah, they're definitely a destroyer. We're on deathlock though. It's very weird. Who's winning total power wise? We're winning total power wise. It's a great position to be in. Um, there's a couple ways that we can go about this. My personal favorite is Spectrum Right. I love Spectrum Right here. Spectrum Right maintains our Warpath. We're going to get plus six left to get up to 22. That means that we need to play seven power left. Uh, this adds nine right, bringing us up to whatever. And if they play middle, then they're going to have a really hard time beating, winning left. I think that uh, Spectrum's always the winning play here. We can also, we can destroy, no, destroy middle doesn't get rid of the Warpath buff. I think it's always Spectrum, right? And they don't have uh, anything to stop it. Keeping the Warpath healthy is really nice for us. Love it. Let's see if I can beat it. Only way is if they... Now, Leader left doesn't even work because of, because of Cosmo. Destroyer, GG's. This explains why you've come across this deck three times the last 20 minutes. Dude, we're, sc we're scorching with this deck, dude. We're beating the shit out of everyone. Interesting. Kind of wish I had my Professor X, but... This is going to be a weird game. It's going to be a very weird game. Is opponent running all common? Are they doing all, all foil common? Okay. This is really hard. I guess we just go Colossus. I kind of want to Spectrum Comertage. I can also Spectrum or Sinister. Um, but what I really want, chat, the most important thing that I could get would be a Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic would be really, really good for us. Iceman hits your 5-drop. Yeah, we just have a lot of 5-drops in the deck. It's kind of fine. I guess we only have two, but... <laughs> Yo, Col I forgot that Colossus fights off the, uh, the, 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 the buff. Come on. Come on. Daddy need, daddy needs a, uh, daddy needs a, a Mr. Fantastic off the rip. 
Claw would be good too. Claw, Mr. Fantastic. Um, Warpath. I'll take a Warpath. Warpath would be fine. It's on HBO Max, yeah. I'll take I'll take a Warpath if you're feeling feeling cheeky. Okay. Lose to Sean here, but just take it. Please take the loss to Sean. Why well, say I mean, the deck is really great. Uh, it fights against Zabu and Silver Surfer decks, which are very powerful and very common right now. Completely stops your opponent from what they're doing. You want to play early cards, get them out, play down um, Sandman on on four, and then we have really good tools so we can cheese out a lane with Professor X. Uh, we can use um, Claw to fight for multiple lanes, Destroyers, just like a, a way to just shoe in, just murder a single lane. Uh, they were getting Sean 100% of the time, huh? Thanks, Mr. Fantastic. Really, uh, really came at the right time. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. If they're smart, they would play a big four drop and then Sean and then one other thing. Um, I mean, this is good. Let's see, mental fortitude check? I mean, I just get murdered by Sean, right? I, I guess I can maybe win. This is five, six... Six, twelve, sixteen. This is like a twenty-one power play that I'm playing. But his Sean Chi is gonna remove like a ridiculous amount of power. And we lose the lizard. We'll go for it. If they shawn us, they shawn us. But they have to do some creative work to actually still win uh while shawning us. If they just shawn left, I don't think they're gonna have enough. I do not think they're gonna have enough if they just shawn left. I think they needed to get two cards uh, going left because we have a lot of power rights though, right? And they're only going to develop 11. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, we had to remember that uh, even if they Sean us there, they need to do some creative work. So if they had like uh, Darkhawk Sean, then we're in some trouble because then they're getting two seven power guys. But j just know, I mean, like you always have to think about it when you're going to get Sean. Like, is Sean enough? A lot of times it's not. Make sure to subscribe. Watch that one too.